Hi, I'm Sean Ginnivan, Marketing Manager with the Mobility Solutions Group here at Cisco, and joining me is Jameson Blanford, Technical Marketing Engineer with the Wireless Networking Business Unit, also at Cisco. Jameson, we're standing in the entryway to this building. Could you give us a little bit of context as to why we're here? Absolutely. Thank you, Sean. We're here to assess the differences between enterprise class wireless infrastructures from competing vendors. So vendors like Aruba, Motorola, exactly, HTC. exactly. So the people that you might find in when you're evaluating who you want to choose as your infrastructure provider. Absolutely. So maybe give me a little bit of detail about what this facility is like. We're here at a 40,000 square foot facility that's basically walled offices and a cubed environment. You would typically find this in you know banking or an enterprise class environment. So kind of to parity office space, that kind of white collar, uh, white collar office exactly. environment. Exactly. That's it. Excellent. So, if this is just like any other office environment, what really makes it unique? Well, what we're here, we're isolated physically from other buildings. What that allows us to do is make sure our tests are repeatable and reliable and that no source of interference will jeopardize our results. So ensure that our neighbors next door don't go and cause or skew any of the results that we may have. Exactly. Well, Jameson, why don't you give me a little bit of a tour inside? Let's go. So Jameson, it looks like you've got the test bed set up whiteboarded here. Why don't you walk through for the audience what we did here for testing? Absolutely. So here at the edge, we have a controller from each vendor. We have a Motorola RFS 7000. We have an HP MSM 750, Aruba 6000 controller with an M3 module, and Cisco's 5500 series wireless LAN controller. Each controller had a four gig port channel connected to it, except for HP. Because of HP's controller design, we used one gigabit uplink. So really you follow the vendor's recommendations when you set up and interconnect all these controllers into the network. Exactly. So what did you connect it all to? It was all interconnected with a Cisco Catalyst 3750E. So a standard, off-the-shelf, gigabit switch you'd find in a variety of different enterprise environments. Exactly. All the connections in here were gigabit. Okay. So what did you do on the access point side? For each AP, we powered them with power over Ethernet, okay. providing a one gigabit uplink. We had a Motorola AP7131, HP MSM422, Aruba AP125, and a Cisco Aeronet 1250. So we've talked about access points for the controllers, so that wireless line infrastructure. What did you do for the client side? In terms of endpoints, in terms of clients, we had a mix of Intel 5300 and Intel 4965 802.11n clients. Okay, so again, standard types of clients you'd find in any enterprise environment. Mm -hmm. What did you do in the way of test tools? In terms of test tools, we primarily used two different test tools. We had Chariot, where we had a Windows 2003 server serving as our Chariot wired endpoint, and our Chariot console connected via gigabit. And for the VeriWave Wave Agent tests, we had a VeriWave WT90 chassis with a four gig Ethernet blade. Okay, so these are the same sort of industry standard tools that really anybody could use in their own office environments to verify their own wireless LAN performance. Absolutely. Well, that's great. So we've given a little bit of a broad overview for the audience. Why don't you dig through uh, into the individual tests themselves? All right, let's take a look. Excellent.